enjoy the next okay so here I have these two sentences A and B okay which one do you think is correct A or B Can you see this? Yeah. So here we have sentence A. Assignment. Assignment. Oh, assignment. It's like homework. Okay. Ah. So which one do you think it's correct? Homework. Yes, homework. The, the, the first one, A. A, okay. We're gonna see later the answer, okay? Okay, what about these two here? Uh, all right, A or B? Number two, A or B, which one? When I did search on my computer, I put them five a few information about the topic. When I did the search on my computer, I would then only find A. A. Alright. Okay, we're gonna see which one is correct now. Oh, so first I'm gonna explain to you something that happens in English and many other languages. And it, um, it's correct uh, what I said? I will, I'm gonna tell you later, okay? Hmm. So, in English, some nouns are what we call uncountable. Okay. That means with these nouns, you cannot use the plural. So, for example, example of uncountable, advice, advertising, food, furniture, garbage, information, knowledge, money, shopping, time, traffic, travel. So, these nouns cannot be used in the plural. Okay, you cannot add an S. Okay. So, for example, um, another thing that happens with these nouns is that you can you cannot say many or a. You have to say, for example, a little, an amount of, much, some. Yeah. So, for example, when you talk about money, you're gonna say, "How much money do you have?" Or, for example. The amount of traffic on the road. Amount, amount was. Cantidad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The amount of traffic on the road is increasing each year. And also, when you use the verb, you're always going to use the singular. You cannot use the plural. So, there was already a little furniture in the flat. So, notice you cannot say advices, you cannot say furniture. You cannot say informations or garbages. Also, you cannot say an advice, our garbage, an information, a knowledge. Not possible. And also not possible. A few, a many. For example, you cannot say I have many money. Not possible. Or you cannot say I have, I have few money or how much money. So with money, which one do you use? Many or much? Which one do you use? Much or many? With money? Much. Much, exactly. Also not possible to use numbers. You cannot say I have two money or I have two informations. Not possible. Okay. okay. In case you want to use numbers... So much information. Exactly. Much information. Okay. Sometimes you want to use a number, but you need to okay. say... A lot of information is possible to sell? Yes, that's possible. A lot of information. But you cannot say many informations. Um, so, a piece of... So, for example, you can say a piece of advice. Or three pieces of furniture. Or a few pieces of garbage. Right? Okay, let's go so, back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. When I have a number of uh, uncountable, you uh, have to I say a piece of for, a piece of news, for example. And if if I have three coins, 
Ok, coin is countable. Ah, but the it's pro not. Ok, the problem is the noun. Mm. So when you use the word money, money yeah. is not countable. You cannot okay. say I have two monies. But you can say I have two coins. That's possible, ok? Because coin is countable. Ok, going back to these sentences. So before you told me A, many times. Is this correct? Many times? Uh, yes, it is. It's not. No? It's not. A few or much? Much time. Or a little time. Not a little few. Time. You cannot say few time. Okay. Now, you have to be careful because the word time... The word time has two different meanings. Okay? So when you mean this, when you mean the time, it's uncountable. But time has a second meaning. Okay, so sometimes you can say, for example, uh, let's see, two times a week. Okay, this time here, we're not talking about the time of the clock. We talk about another time. We talk okay. about the numbers of repetition you do something. So this time is countable. Okay? So for example, notice the difference. How much time? Wait a moment. How much time do you have? So here I'm talking about hours, seconds, minutes, yeah? Yes, okay. However, I could also say how many times with a, did you do it? So here I'm talking about the repetition. Once, twice, three times, four times. How many times? So the number of repetition okay. of activity. I'm not talking about minutes, seconds, hour, okay? So this happens so also in English. Called, you said that the second is countable and the third one is countable. Exactly. exactly. So, so if be... you tell me how many times, I can say two times in the week. Exactly. Or... Exactly. Or exactly. Okay, so in this example here, in number one, we'll talk about seconds, a minute, an hour. So it has to be B. Okay? I don't have much time. Okay? I don't have much time. Sorry? Yes. Here. I don't have much time. Okay. Uh, okay. So it has to be the, the second one, B, here. I don't have much time to complete the assignment. Okay. What about number two? So you told me it's A. I could only find a few informations. Is this correct? Yes, because it's countable. No, it's not. It's uncountable. uncountable. In English, the word information is uncountable. You cannot say two information, three information, four information. You have to say, I have some information. Or I have a little information. Not a few information. Okay? It's uncountable. If you want to use the number, you have to say a piece of information or a piece of news. Also, possible. the word news is also uncountable. Okay. So remember, this happens with advice, advertising, food, furniture, garbage, information. Okay, these are the most common one. So remember, not plural. Not a few, not many, not a number of, not a plural verb, okay? And not article. Okay. Okay, question for you. Is this okay or not okay? Is this right or wrong? This sentence here. Garbage, gar garbage. No? What's the garbage? This here, garbage. Yeah? Basura. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay or not okay? 
tell me. Can I say the number of garbages we produce is increasing? Is this alright? Is this alright? Uh, you said it's wrong because finish with S. Exactly, it's wrong. It's wrong. How can you use the plural with this now? So uh, what do I have to say? The um, the the garbage we produce the garbage. We produce increase, it's increasing. Okay, the garbage we produce is increasing, yeah, that's okay. You could also say the amount of garbage. Okay, so you cannot use the number of garbage either, this is incorrect. You can use the amount of garbage. The amount? What? Amount, amount. The amount. Let me show you. So you can use this, amount, the amount of garbage. Okay? So the amount of garbage we produce is increasing. Yeah? Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. <clears throat> so in this sentences there are mistakes, okay? And we have to correct the mistakes. Sometimes you can find more than one mistake, okay? So let's try number one. My tutor was very helpful. He gave me one. Helpful. Sorry? Helpful. Helpful. Helpful is something that is useful. So, someone who is helpful is, is someone who helps you. Okay? Ah, okay. So, my, my tutor was very helpful. He gave me one very good advice about how to study. Okay, this is not correct. What's the problem? <clears throat> Because one. Exactly. You cannot use the, the word one when you talk about uh, advice. Just a moment. Let me close the window. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so. As I was talking, you cannot say one, so you cannot use the number with this uh, particular, yeah, with advice. So what do I have to say? My tutor was very helpful. He gave me a good, uh, uh, a mo no, he gave me. Uh, no, hear no. me. Okay, let's go back to this. <clears throat> okay. Uh, right. Um, okay, let's. Can you read this part here? Good. Some good. Exactly. Some good advice. Good. advice. Some good advice. This is what you have to say. If you want to use the number, you could use this expression. A piece of advice. It's also possible, yeah? So, or you, you have two options. Or you say some good advice, or you say a piece of advice. Okay? Okay, okay number two. I was surprised by the number of time it's Lucas to reset, it, it, it to took, reach the it, class. It took us to reach the castle. So it took us to reach. Reach was okay. Reach. I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> reach. Okay. Reach. Okay. If you reach something, it means. It's near you, and you can use your hand to take something. You reach something, yeah? I can start. Exactly. So, to reach, yeah? Okay. And reach uh, the target? 
Okay. If I alcanzar, sería, yeah, ¿no? yeah, you can also, okay, okay, with a eh, target, okay, with a target, we usually say achieve a target, so you achieve a, a target, okay, you achieve a target, you could, you, I suppose you could also say reach, a we usually say achieve a target, but reach, you can reach an amount of, uh, for example, you can reach, Um, I don't know. For example, you can reach a book that is on the bookshelf. For example, reach is more physical. Okay. 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 So number two, what is the problem here? What I was is surprised by the number of time I took to reach the castle. 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 Remember that. The, the T is silent. Castle. You, do you understand castle? Mira, castillo. Mm -hmm. Castle. Okay. So remember, the T, the letter T is silent. Castle. Okay. Okay, what's the problem here? Number of time. Exactly. Number of times. What is the problem? What, what do I have to change here? So obviously S. this is incorrect because... Finish with S. No? Exactly. It finishes with S. And here we talk about second, minute. So it cannot be plural. It has to be singular. Yeah. Okay. So what else? So we have to remove the S, so no S. Can I say number of time? Is that okay? No. Okay. What could what could I say? So I have to remove number. I have to I have to say something else. What could I say here? No? Much time. No. No, there's another spread. So, if you want to use expression like this, with a countable, we use the amount of time, yeah? So you can say the amount of time. Ah, la cantidad. Okay. The amount of time. So I was surprised by the amount of time it took us to reach the castle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you understand this expression? It took us. No, 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 Yes. <clears throat> so in English, when you talk about time, we say it takes person. Yeah. So for example, it takes me five minutes to get dressed. Yeah. Notice. We always use um, it as the subject, okay? So for example, I could ask you How long does it take you to get to work? For example, yeah? Uh, yes, I, I say it take me Exactly So when you're using this expression, when you talk about time You have to say, it takes me, it takes her, it took me, if you're talking the past, it took uh, them, it took whoever, yeah? Okay. All right, let's move on. Number three. Okay. You need a great deal mm -hmm. of knowledge to become a doctor. Okay, what's the problem here? Um, great deal. Actually, this is okay. Great, it's okay. But knowledge uh, lies oh. exactly. So you need to remove the S. Okay, let's talk about the expression a great deal. What does it mean? A great deal of. Una gran cantidad de. Exactly, a lot, really a lot. Mm -hmm. 
So a great deal of you can use it with uh, yeah, you can use it with accountables. Yeah, it's like the word a lot. So you can say a lot of money, a lot of people, a lot of. So in English, some expressions you can use it with both countable and countable. Some other expression only with countable or uncountable. So for example, let me show you. So you can say a lot of money, a lot of people, yeah, for example. However, you say much money, many people. You cannot say many money or you cannot say much people. So some expression can be used with everything. For example, a lot of, you can use it with everything. A great deal of, you can use it with everything. But without some of the nouns uh, or expressions, for example, much, or much is only for uncountable things. So for example, we say much time, much money, uh, much food, much information, uh, much furniture. But we say many people, uh, many dogs, many tables, many chairs. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Number four. The information we were given by the tour guide were not very helpful. Informations. Exactly. This is the problem. So you need to say information. So the information we were given by the tour guide were not very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number five. When we visit the park, we were upset to see garbage sheets. Mm -hmm. So what's the it's problem? Wrong. This is wrong. Yeah. Is that all? Is that all? No. It's we saw much. Exactly. Much. Perfect. We saw much garbage. So, when we visited the park, when we visited the park, we were upset to see so much garbage left there. Number six. We arrived late because there were amount traffic on the road. Mm, I wouldn't say amount of traffic here. I would say much traffic. Yeah? Just much traffic. So you cannot say many. You have to say much traffic because traffic is uncomfortable. So much traffic. Um. Okay. So the thing with the expression an amount of is when you want to. Uh, to use like a certain quantity if you mean like a lot you could say much okay and myself i can't be quite to visit the market and i do, do many shopping mm, okay what about okay is, is shopping countable or countable A countable to show it's it's uncountable. uncountable so you cannot use number so with this one there are few expressions you cannot use so for example numbers you cannot use you cannot say many shopping a piece of shopping mm, okay but here you mean uh, a little shopping okay no. a little shopping so with uncountable when you mean few, we say a little. So notice, we say, for example, let me show you. So we say a few people, but we say a little money. Okay? Okay. So a, a few people is the opposite of many people. And a little money is the opposite of much money. Yeah. Okay, number eight. Furniture. Exactly. This is the problem. So, the furniture, the furniture in the hotel room. Okay, so this is one problem. 
Is there any other problem here? Is that all? The hotel room were quite old, were, uh, quite quite um, were, mm -hmm. wrong. No, quite, no th uh, this, is, this is actually okay. Okay, quite old means rather old. It's kind of very old, more or less. So, uh, very, were very old. Oh. No, no, this is okay. This is correct. Okay. This is not a problem. But it's okay to all the rest, it's okay. Nope. But they were very comfortable. Okay. Ah, very, they were comfortable, no? Okay, can you, re can you repeat this? Comfortable. Nope. Comfortable. 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 Mm -hmm. Comfortable. Okay, so okay, let's go back to this one. The furniture. Is this plural or singular? Comfortable. Yes, yeah. Oh, forget about comfortable. What about the furniture? Is this plural or singular? Singular. It's singular. So if it's singular. Was very exactly. So you have to use the singular verb. So the furniture in the hotel room was quite old, but it was it was very comfortable. Okay. Ah, sorry. Wait a moment. No, actually, here we talk about the room. So the problem is here. So they means the room here. So, no problem. So the furniture in the hotel room was quite old, but they were very comfortable. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try a few more sentences. So here we have two examples. So Joe goes every, everywhere by bike. He doesn't have car. This is incorrect. You need to say he doesn't have a car okay uh, number two this is okay Helen was listening to music when I arrived so music is uncountable so not article okay number three so sometimes you're gonna need this sometimes you don't need this okay so number three is it okay or not okay we went to to a very nice restaurant last weekend. We went. Okay or not okay? Correct or incorrect? It's okay. It's not okay. It's Why? wrong. You need to say a very nice restaurant. Okay. So you need. Ah. We went to a, a very nice restaurant. A very nice restaurant, yeah? A very nice restaurant. So restaurant, you need to say a or a number or something like that, yeah? Paul. I, I, I brush my uh -uh. teeth. Not brush, brush. I brush. I brush my teeth with a Space. Okay, first of all, is it okay or not okay? It's not okay. It's actually no. okay. No problem it's here. Okay. So toothpaste, toothpaste is uncountable. Okay, so you don't need to say a toothpaste. You don't say a tooth. You just say toothpaste okay. or some toothpaste. Okay. Do you understand toothpaste? Sí, pasta dental. Mm -hmm. Five. Uh, it's wrong. I use a toothbrush to mm -hmm. brush my okay. teeth. Exactly. I use a toothbrush to brush my teeth. Number six. I can. No, can you tell me if there are a bank mm -hmm. near you? So, can you tell me if there is a bank near here. Seven. 
my brother works my, for an insurance company. Okay. An insurance. An insurance. An, an insurance. Yes. I, okay. Okay. If um, you notice here, I use an N. Okay. The reason why I use this is because the next word, the next word start with a vowel sound. So every time you have a a vowel sound at the beginning, you need to use this N. So an insurance. It goes together. Okay. An insurance. Okay. Yes. So eight. All right. It's okay. Uh, number eight. I don't like violence. This is okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. Sorry. Number nine. When we were in Rome, we stay in a big hotel. Perfect. Number ten. If you have a problem, I will try and help you. It's okay. Yeah, okay. no, if you have a problem. If you have a problem, I will try and help you. Okay? It's not okay, I problem. will, it's I'll. I'll. Problem. Problem. Eleven. But it's wrong because it said if you if you have problem of a problem. If you have a problem, yes. You said it right. This is a wrong. Okay. This is a mistake. Okay. Right. So if you yeah. have a, a problem, I'll try and help. Eleven. I like your suggestion. Mm -mm. Suggestion. It's interesting. In it's okay. Interesting. Interesting. It's interesting. okay. Maybe. Oh, is it okay? It's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay at all. We say and it's, it's an, an, interesting. an interesting idea. An interesting, interesting idea. An interesting idea, okay? Number 12. Can you smell a pint? Nope. This is okay. No problem okay. here. Can you smell paint? Can you smell paint? Smell what smell? <laughs> smell. When you use your nose, you smell. Okay? Can you show you? Smell what smell? Sorry. You don't know nose? Nose. Nose, okay. no. Okay, so she's smelling pizza or she's smelling a flower. Yeah? yeah okay. Smell Um. Okay, number 13. I like volleyball. It's a good game. Exactly. It's a good game. Mm -hmm. So, this is wrong. You should say a good game. 14. It's okay. Lisa doesn't usually wear jewelry. Perfect. This is uncountable. So, jewelry. 15. Shane was wearing a beautiful necklace. Necklace? Bufanda? Ne yes. no. No. Necklace. 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 Yeah. Ah, okay. It's colgante. Exactly. A necklace. Okay. If you want to say Bufanda, we say a scarf. A scarf. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. And uh, 16. Wait. Yeah. Is it okay or not okay? Does this city have an airport? An airport. So an airport. An airport. An airport. And you need to say the N here because it's a start with the sound A. So an airport. Yeah? So an airport. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so before I mention um, some nouns uh, can be both countable and uncountable. Yeah. So sometimes the same noun can be can have several meanings or two different meanings depending what you mean. It can be countable 
or accountable. Okay, we're gonna read these sentences. Can I read this? Did you hear the noise just now? So did you hear a noise? So this is countable. Can you read this one? I can't work here. There's too much noise. So notice when I mean a specific noise, it's countable. When I talk about noise in general, it's uncountable. Okay, next one. Can you read this? Both a paper road. Oh. I wrote a paper to read. Okay. So a paper, when I say a paper, I mean a newspaper. Okay. Yeah. So here is countable. Can you I read this one? Paper right on. Okay, when you talk about the material, it's, it's uncountable. Okay. By the way, if you want to talk about one of these, we say a piece of paper. Yeah? A piece of paper. Or a sheet of paper. Yeah. Uh, and some paper? Yeah, also possible. Okay. Some okay. paper. Yeah, you could also say some paper. You could also say a little paper, uh, an amount of paper. But if you say a paper, you mean a newspaper. Okay. Uh, next one. There a hair in my soul. Hair? No. Hair. 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 There's an there's a hair in my soup. Okay. So when we say a hair, we mean only one of these, only one, okay? Yeah. Uh, next one. You have got very long hair. You've got very long hair. Okay. When we say hair, uncountable, we mean everything here, okay? All the things you have on your head, okay? You have. Exactly. No, I have. So, very important. You don't say, I have a long hair. You say, I have long hair, or I have short hair, if you mean yeah. everything on your head, yeah? I have long hair. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. This is a nice room. Okay, so when we say a room, we mean the room of a house, yeah? Uh, next one. You can sit here. There isn't room. Okay, if you talk about room, we, we mean space, okay? So notice the difference uh, be, between, say, a room and room, they are different. It, it, and can I say, you can sit here, there is a space, or there is a where? Uh, okay, usually, when we say space, a space is more of a... A scientific, a scientific, you know, like, um, for example, you talk about the space in, in the universe, yeah? Room is more general. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So space yeah, is I, I, more... I, 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 is, okay, the difference between room and space is the space is more uh, sophisticated, maybe, yeah? So the register is different. Okay, next one. I, 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 I said the, uh, there isn't, uh, you can sit here, uh, there isn't where, but no, I don't there. Okay, there, the is, mm -hmm. there isn't any, where? there isn't room, okay, you can say there isn't anywhere to sit. It's also possible, but, okay. but that would be a different sentence. Yeah? Uh, okay, next one. I have some interesting experience while I was traveling. Experiences. 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 So I had some interesting experiences while I was traveling. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was uh, offered okay. a show because I had them a lot, uh, because I had a lot of experience. 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 Okay. So notice the difference between say an experience and experience. So when you talk about an experience, you're talking about something that happened to you in the past. Or for example, a trip, I don't know. When you talk about experience, we usually mean uh, it's job related, okay? So you can say someone has a lot of experience. Okay, the same happened with the word, with the word work 
So in English, we said work and job. When we say work, this is uncountable. Okay, we talk about in general. When you say job, this is countable. So when you mean, uh, I don't know, I have a job, I have two jobs, I have three jobs, but you cannot say I have a work. It's not possible. Okay. So I have a lot of jobs uh, along the day. Okay. Uh, you mean a lot of work. So when we say jobs, we mean, for example, electrician, politician, teacher. Uh, uh, yes. Exactly. It's more about professions. Yeah. Work is more about activity. Okay. Okay. All right. Next one. Enjoy your trip. Have a great time. Mm -hmm. uh, next one. I can't wait. I don't have time. Again, this time and this time a different meaning. I don't have enough time. It's possible to say. Yeah, yeah, it's also possible. I don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so here we've got a common and countable nouns. Uh, so accommodation, behavior, damage, lack, permission, traffic, advice, bread, furniture, luggage, progress, weather, baggage, chaos, information, news, scenery, and web. Okay. Do you understand everything here? Damage. 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 Daño. 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 Mm -hmm. yep. Lack. Lack. Yeah, Lack. 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 Advice, baggage, chaos, 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 no? chaos. 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 Okay. yes, chaos, news, scenery, 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 the scenery is like view, yeah, so the scenery, yeah, the scenery, the view, yeah, scenery, sería, pero entonces como, the view, Vista. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, we're gonna read the sound sentences. Can you read this? Enjoy your holidays. I hope you have a good weather. So enjoy your holiday. Singular, okay. I hope you have good weather. So notice we don't say a good weather, okay? We just say good weather. Okay, next one. Can you read this? Where are you going to put all your furniture? Perfect. Uh, next one. Let me know if you need more information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, hey, sorry. Hey, let me know if you. Ah, need more. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Can the news was unspecific. Unexpected. 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 Mm -hmm. so unexpected. Is, unexpected. Is you didn't expect it. You you didn't see it coming. Yeah. You you did. You have no expectation of this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, with the word travel, again, it's uncountable. So travel can be a verb or can be a countable noun. So usually when you talk about, uh, you know, going to a place, we don't say travel, we say a trip or we say a journey. Um, travel is more of a general idea. Yeah? So for example, uh, 
they spend a lot of money on travel. So here we talk in general, yeah, in general. But we say we had a very good trip or we had a very good journey. Trip and journey are also different. So journey is more about the trajectory. And trip is more about the experience. Okay. A journey in the show is is a day. A journey, jornada, sería, no? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Journey means um, when you go to a place to another place. For the journey, uh, be, uh, from I don't know, Malaga, Madrid. Okay. Ah, okay. Viaje sería pero no de viaje de, por ejemplo, de travel o de trip. Sería de tra to tra to go to one yes, place. journey means place. The, the movement, the, you know, so the journey between two places. Yeah. Yeah, so I can say I have a lot of journey along the week. No, in that case I would say trip. Trip. So trip is But more... Okay, uh -huh. trip is the whole uh, the whole experience. Okay, so so, I, so for uh, example, we say a trip to Paris. Okay, and uh, 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 where or, or when are you journey? So uh, okay, I, journey. Okay, when you say journey, for example, if you're talking to the trip to Paris, the journey means the moment you spend in uh, on the plane. So I I, I have to, but yes, I understand. But how are you using the okay. sentence? So imagine, for example, you're going to travel to Paris, okay? So the, the time you spend on the plane, this is what yeah. we call the journey. So the, the yes, journey... I understand. But uh, how are you uh, in the sentence journey? I have two hour journey. Yes, for example, I had a two hour journey. Mm -hmm. Or I had a good journey on the plane. Or I had a good journey on, on the train. Yeah, but it's it possible. It's okay if I said hey, I have a good trip in the plane. No, 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 because trip means the whole experience. So, if ah, okay. for example, if I talk about a trip to Paris, I mean everything. I mean the the time I spent on the plane, the coffee I had at the co at the restaurant, uh, everything I did there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, let's move on. Uh, so, for example, can I read this? I'm looking for a job. So, a job, but we say? I'm looking for work. For work. It's work, okay? Work. Okay, next one. What a beautiful view. Uh, this one? I can see that what a beautiful but the What a beautiful scenery. Scenery. Mm -hmm. Scenery. Okay, next one. Uh, it's a nice day today. Uh -huh. And this one? It's a nice weather today. No. It's the same, no? No. Okay. no. It's nice weather today. Be careful. Weather is yes. uncountable. Okay, okay, but they say the same in the two. Yeah, the, the meaning is the same. The idea right. is the same, basically. Okay, next one. I had a lot of bugs. I had a lot of bugs. Uh, next one. We had a lot of baggages. So baggage or luggage? Baggage. Oh, luggage. Okay. So when you say baggage and luggage, you talk in general. Okay. Uh, next one. These chairs are mine. Okay, chairs. Chairs. Chair. Mm -hmm. Chairs. Uh, next one. These furnitures are is mine okay. so notice when we say furniture again we talk in general we talk about table chairs uh, couches you know in general next one that's a good suggestion suggestion mm -hmm. uh, next one that's a good advice nope that's good advice that's good advice mm -hmm. okay next one there are there were a lot of cars And this one? Yeah, there was a lot of traffic. Perfect. Uh, okay, let's try this one. So here you have two options. You have to tell me which one is correct. So for example, 
the engine is making a strange noise because we're talking about a specific noise what is it okay number a a one b uh, we live near the near a busy road so there are a lot of uh, Mm -hmm. There's a lot of noise. Perfect. There's a lot of noise. Here we say noise because uh, we talk in general. Okay. Okay. In general. Okay. Two a. Light comes from the sun. So light comes from the sun. So here again we talk it in general. And to be I thought there was somebody in the house because there was a light on site. Exactly. A light. Here we talk it a specific light. Yeah? So that's why we say a light. Three A. If, if I was in hurry, I was in a hurry this morning. I didn't have time mm -hmm. for breakfast. So I didn't have time. We talk about second, minute, yeah, in general. And 3B? We really enjoyed our holidays. Really enjoyed our holidays? Mm -hmm. We had great, we had A great time. He said, we had a great time. We had a great time. So here we talk about a specific time. Yeah? So we had a great time. For A. Can I have um, Can I, I, I have glass of water, please? A glass of water. Glass of water. So can I have a glass of water? So here we say a glass. Okay. Glass. Okay. Uh, for me. Be careful. The window has been broken and there's a broken glass on the floor. No. Broken glass? Broken glass. Okay. What is the difference between say a glass and glass? When I say glass, and talk about the container, yeah? And talk about it. So this is a glass, right? Okay. When I'm talking about the material, I call it glass, okay? So glass is the material. Uh, well, not, not this. This is a glass, and the material, glass, okay? Yeah, yeah the window or the exactly so that is yes. glass so there's broken broken glass on the floor okay 5a we stayed at ho at the hotel we had a very nice room mm -hmm. so a very nice room and 5b we have a big garage there's a room there there's room Mm -hmm. Or two cars. Perfect. Okay, let's try this one. Too. So, which is correct? Okay. So, do you have nice weather? Do you have nice weather when you were away? Right? Okay, number two. We were very unfortunate. Unfortunate. Fortunate. Mm -hmm. We had a bad luck. We had bad luck. Okay, so luck. Yeah. Okay. We had bad luck. Okay, three. Or trap or or journey from Our journey this Moscow from Paris I to Moscow was very. Was very tiring, 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 
tiring. Tiring means like, oh, tiring. It's very tiring, you know? Relajado. No, no, the opposite. Ah. It's tiring. Exactly. Tiring. So notice we say journey from Paris to Moscow. Okay. So notice here we talk about uh, going from one place to another place. If you talk about the trip, it means... Uh, the time so, while you are uh, in the train. The time. Exactly. Journey, exactly. The time so time. journey is always talk about going from one place to another. Okay. And trip is the whole experience. So, for example, you can call, uh, you can say a trip to Paris. So, if you say I had a trip to Paris, it means everything you did. Okay. Okay, number four. When the fire alarm rang, there mm -hmm. was a complete ch ch chaos. Nope. Complete chaos. Uh -huh. There was complete chaos. Fine. Bad news. Mm hmm. Doesn't make people happy. Perfect. So remember, even though you see this S here, news is singular. Yes. It's uncountable. You cannot be it cannot be plural. Yeah. So bad news doesn't make people happy. Six. There's lovely there are some lovely scenery. Mm -hmm. In this part of the country. Perfect. Seven. I like my shop, but it's it's a very hard work. No, nope. it's very hard work. It's very hard work. Very hard work. You can say it's a very hard. It's a very hard job. That's possible. Although. Okay, work is more in general. The idea of work is activity. Yeah? And job is more specific. Eight. Okay. I want to print some documents, but the printer is out of paper. Perfect. And nine. The trip took a long time. There was a there was uh, there was very tra heavy traffic. There was heavy traffic. Mm -hmm. Heavy traffic. Tra mm -hmm. Your hair is too long. Yes, your hair is too long. Sh uh, you should have. It could cut, not good, cut. You should That's have cut. it, you should have it cut. Cut. Okay, you should have it cut. Okay. All right. Um, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna practice speaking after this. 